The borough of Camden has six resource centres for the elderly, four of which are likely to be cut by the council as it attempts to tackle an £80 million shortfall in its budget. Today is our Valentine party here and um, we are celebrating that. Most other people, they don't have access to any hot meal and we, we do lots of parties, celebrate each other culture, Diwali, Christmas party, Eid party. Have we got any gravy last year? One of the centres set to go is the Great Croft Age Concern, which has 166 users that take part in a wide range of activities from bowling to art classes. I've learned to do harp, we play darts, we, we do different things all the time. I say it's going to cost them a downside more money to look after people that are stuck in their houses 24 hours, seven days a week, than it would if they come in here. Or are they going to leave these people? leave us all to vegetate in our homes and hope we'll go away and we don't exist. That's what I think they want us to do. Camden say that these centres are not critical services and that they're a luxury which they're not required to provide. They add that it can't be proved that what they offer actually keep the elderly out of hospital. However, the people here say that they will soon be in a critical position if they're stuck at home and the impact on their health could be very expensive for the council to put right later. She's 82. She is 82. Well, you've got to tell your age. I'm the oldest one here. I'm 91 years of age. If this closes, we'll be looking at four walls, and I'll tell you what, it'd be a terrible thing because a lot of these old people go home between me and you and commit suicide, I reckon. The council don't pay for the gardening. We had volunteers to do that. We got a cook. We get a lovely three-course dinner for three pound. Say this was to close, all these old girls, they go home to nothing because even now they tell me if they don't have a dinner here, they don't cook so they will deteriorate. And they're not prepared to take it lying down. Rose and her friends have taken to the streets to protest against Camden's decision and are planning to attend the national demonstration against cuts on the 26th of March, despite their mobility issues. For many, the centre offers activities, respite and much needed company in an otherwise socially isolated world. My husband has got dementia and also he has got prostate cancer and also he has got hernia. He comes here, he does not talk nowadays, but he's, I can see he's enjoying so much to come down. Work. But I also get so much you know, relief, you know. When he come here, I get in my life and I can go out. Now, otherwise I'll be housebound, you know. We've got a whole mix of people from the local area. So we've got older Bangladeshi people mixing with white working class people. Um, and you know, a centre like that, it takes years and years to build up that kind of community. It's more than a lunch club. We've got a few people who have got safeguarding issues. We've got an issue at the moment with one of the members who's had nearly £100,000 stolen from her by somebody who's kind of posing as a family friend. You know, the centre staff pick up on these things. They're, you know, they're frontline services. I mean, I can't get on the bus or, or, or on transport. I need help because I suffered rheumatoid arthritis. But with the cuts, I've been doors most of the time. Can you have a small one, please? The situation facing Greatcroft is just one of dozens of difficult decisions confronting Camden Council. And Camden is itself just a microcosm of what's happening in every borough around the country. We have only two full-time uh, members and two part-time members working here. It's not a huge amount of staff to looking after 166 people. Running cost for the centre is pretty low because we have only funding for the staff and the building rent maintenance. We don't have any funding from the Camden to run the activities. Uh, five days activities, we have to raise money through our age concern support service. Okay, everybody, you drank, you ate, and now it's party time. <laughs> I think, you know, so they're talking about big society. This is the best part of the big society. We have volunteers, we have work placement here, we work with students. If you ask me, Bellu for money, charity organization run this kind of service with nothing. 
as the council struggles to make choices on what to cut. Service users like these are left feeling abandoned and angry and there's a fear that in the long term it will be frontline services that have to pick up the pieces. I've got no family up in London. I mean I come down here for people to talk to and eat with. I mean it keeps your mind and your body active as well. If you sat at home you'd just sit there doing nothing. <laughs>